As we are coming towards the end of 2023, I thought I'd take a moment to summarize all the fun and exciting things we did at CodeCloud and also share some insights into what we are planning in 2024. So the past year has been fantastic for us. We released 37 plus courses, ventured into new domains of cloud computing, built new features such as Cloud Labs and launched a new version of the CodeCloud Engineer program. As a team, we welcomed three new trainers to our platform. Michael Forrester from AWS, who leads our cloud practice, Sanjeev Tyagrajan, who leads the DevOps practice, and Jeremy Morgan, who leads our Azure and Linux practice. For the first time, we sponsored the KubeCon event in North America. We were a silver sponsor and we were there as a team. We met a lot of you and had awesome conversations. Now, some of the notable courses we released this year include the AWS Cloud Practitioner course, the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification course, and with the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification, we built the first course of its kind, fully hands-on course with labs just like our Kubernetes and DevOps courses. Every section has a tailored lab scenario built specifically for the topic you just learned. And just like all of our other labs, we check to make sure you did what you were asked to do correctly. And these labs are on us. You don't need to create your own cloud accounts or worry about incurring cloud costs. As long as you have a pro subscription with CodeCloud, you gain access to all three cloud environments, AWS, Azure, and Google throughout the entire year. Now, when you move to the design section of the course, we have a new interactive learning module with a drag and drop feature. So you're given an architecture diagram and you have to design a solution by dragging and dropping the relevant service at the right place. With these learn by doing experiences, our goal is to redefine cloud education for our learners. Now, apart from the certification courses, we have also released service specific specialized courses that help deep dive into specific services within AWS and help you learn these the hands-on way with our labs. And these include the AWS IAM, the AWS Code Pipeline course, and the Lambda course. And you learn working with real projects on real lab environments. Now on the Azure side, we released the AZ-104, the Microsoft Azure Administrators course, the AZ-305, the Microsoft Azure Solutions Architect Expert course, the DP-900, the Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals course, and the AZ-500, the Microsoft Azure Security Technologies course. And on the Google side, we released a course on the Google Kubernetes Engine, the GCP Digital Cloud Leader uh, Certification, as well as a project-driven course named GCP DevOps Project. And this helps you prepare for handling interview questions when it comes to the Google Cloud. Now, we continue to release more courses on DevOps topics like the GitOps with Flux CD as well as the GitOps with Argo CD course. And these help strengthen the CI CD skills in the cloud native space. Many more courses were released on Postman Essentials, Pulumi Essentials, HashiCorp Packer, Loki, as well as Spacelift. Yeah, on the HashiCorp side, we released the HashiCorp Terraform Cloud course, the HashiCorp Certified Console Associate Certification, HashiCorp Certified Vault Associate Certification, and the HashiCorp Certified uh, Vault Operations Professional Certification course, led by the amazing HashiCorp Ambassador Brian Crossan and Gabe. Now, in the course on fundamentals of DevOps, Michael Forrester teaches everything on DevOps outside of just the tools. This is a story-based visual course that makes the boring theoretical concepts so much more fun to watch and learn. We also upgraded our CKA and CKAD learning paths with two ultimate mock exam series. So these series introduce multiple harder mock exams that provide additional gunpowder to help you gain more practice to be prepared for the actual exam. Our new role-based and domain-based learning path pages help you plan the right courses in the right order, as well as understand the duration to complete the learning path based on your current skills. So if you're not sure where you stand today in terms of your current skill set, well, take this free hands-on test that comes with the learning paths to find out more. Now, one of the common questions we get from our students is what to do after going through the courses? Like how can we gain more hands-on experience and help us gain confidence? Now this year, we relaunched our Code Cloud Engineer program with a new sleek look and more gamified features than ever. Now, if you don't know, Code Cloud Engineer is a virtual company where you can get hands-on experience on Linux and DevOps tasks as you would in a real company for free. And when you join, you get a project brief and you get an architecture diagram on how the current data center looks like and details about the servers and credentials and stuff like that, and a number of practices to choose from. And depending on what you choose, you get a task daily. And as they say, 
one task a day keeps the skills decay away. So set aside just 30 minutes every day to work on your virtual company. The more tasks you complete, the more experience you gain and the more tasks you unlock. And if you're stuck, you, um, you could request for a review and others, other users on the platform can actually see what you did and help point out what went wrong. We've also been launching content on our YouTube channel about everything that's latest and greatest that's been happening in the Kubernetes, cloud, and DevOps spaces. So make sure to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications when our content is out. We've released new publicly accessible Kubernetes playgrounds for different versions that you can use to quickly experiment with. And if you haven't done so already, uh, go to this link and make sure you bookmark it for easy access in the future. Now, you must be familiar with the awesome hands-on labs that accompany our videos in the courses. And this year, we hit a new milestone for our labs. We crossed the mark of provisioning 15 million sessions for our users. And these are 15 million exclusive Linux and Kubernetes clusters that we provisioned for our users on the platform. And we crossed the concurrent usage of 1,200 sessions at a time. That means every hour we provision 1,200 exclusive Kubernetes clusters for our users uh, to be accessed in that particular window. Now, as you can imagine, it is not an easy task to be able to manage and support such large clusters. So our awesome engineering team has made tremendous improvements in improving the security and stability of the labs to achieve a 99.8% uptime compared to a 99.1% in the previous period. And I want to take the opportunity to thank you for your patience while we worked on these improvements. So those were a few of the many things we did in 2023. Now heading to 2024, what's our plan? As you might have noticed, over the past few years, we have been improving the student experience on CodeCloud, whether it is improving the quality of the courses, improving the lab experiences, improving the stability of the labs, creating better learning experiences for the cloud, etc. We've also been secretly working in the background on a completely new CodeCloud learning platform that would provide you with a better, smoother, faster learning experience. We already have beta users testing it out, and so far, they love it, and I hope you will too. Now expect more communications from us on this early in quarter one in 2024. Now we'll also be rebuilding our business dashboard to provide better insights to businesses who use our platform to train their employees. Now, if you didn't know already, CodeCloud for Business is a new product that we launched last year that helps businesses train their employees in the DevOps cloud and cloud native technologies and has gained a lot of popularity among businesses in the past couple of years. Now, if you need to train your team Check out codecloud.com slash business to know more. Another important update coming in 2024 would be cloud-based projects for our CodeCloud engineer program. So you'll finally be given an architecture diagram and asked to build out an entire solution using various services in the cloud. And as always, you'll be graded and given marks for completing them. And finally, of course, there are more courses coming in 2024. We're planning to release over 50 courses and update over 14 of our previous courses in 2024. The new courses will be spread around DevOps, cloud native, uh, cloud and security technologies. And these are based on what you requested of us. Now I've been recording a course on WebAssembly for beginners myself, which will be out in January. And we have the new Kubernetes certification course, KCSA, that's planned, that's also going to come out in the quarter one. And a number of other courses include Grafana, GitHub Actions, GitHub Certifications, an advanced course on Jenkins, uh, Operators, Kubernetes Networking and Storage, Kubernetes Autoscalers, a specialized course on troubleshooting and debugging Kubernetes, and many more in the DevOps space. Now on cloud, we plan the AWS Developer Associate Certification course, the AWS SysOps Administrator Certification course, the Data Engineer Associate Certification course, the AZ400 and the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Certification courses. And we have a lot more topics to pick from uh, for the remainder of the year. So please help us pick the right course for next year by voting on them on our request board at request.codecloud.com. All of this would not have been possible without the awesome team at CodeCloud. Over the past few years, we've been growing as a team and you probably saw some of us at KubeCon in Chicago, but we have a larger, more distributed global team and CodeCloud is a fully remote global team that has employees all over the world in Singapore, India, US, Canada, Ireland, Vietnam, Philippines, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bosnia, and even though we are a remote uh, company, we also try to get together whenever possible. So last year we had a company all hands in Bali and in 2024, we hope to get together in Bangkok and Thailand. And we are always looking for more talent. And if you have a passion for education and want to be part of a team, creating an impact in the community, 
please do reach out to us through our careers page. If you are a trainer and would like to create content, check out our Teach With Us page. And if you are a writer, check out the Write With Us page. And we also have some lead roles available. We're looking for an engineering manager to lead the engineering efforts. And we're looking for a head of marketing to lead our marketing efforts. So please do reach out directly to me on my LinkedIn or Twitter um, right here. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank you for all your support the past year. It's been an incredible year for CodeCloud and I hope it was the same for you. And I hope you will continue to support us in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year ahead. Until next time, goodbye.